the voters of eastern Ukraine are encouraged to see their country in stark terms. Bloodthirsty ultra-nationalists in the capital, Kiev, waging war on the peaceful communities of Donetsk and its surrounds. The only answer, a tick for yes to the idea of their own People's Republic. Opinion polls suggest that popular support for the idea is low. We found it to be divided at best. I'll be voting yes in the referendum. I want peace. I don't want the West to come here and to shoot at our kids. I'm not going to vote, but of course it will have an impact on us. I won't go and vote. It's not that I don't support it. It's the fact that I don't find this referendum legitimate. Neither does the government in Kiev, but there doesn't seem to be much it can do to stop polling stations from opening. The head of the Central Election Commission of the People's Republic of Donetsk says the referendum will meet all international standards. Well, here's something that international observers might have caused to question. A sign in the window of the polling station itself with the instruction, say yes to the Republic. But of course, there aren't going to be any international observers. And among volunteer polling station workers, the outcome isn't in much doubt. When it comes to the percentage, I cannot tell, but I believe it will be no less than 60% in favor. But if the polls are right that there is a majority against, then veteran civil society campaigner Maria Olinik says there's good reason to stay silent. In recent weeks, many of her colleagues have been abducted, beaten and intimidated. The the Ukrainian colors have all but vanished from the streets of the East. At the beginning it was hooliganism, but there was no reaction from the police, there was no punishment. Then this evil grew, they started to arm themselves, and we only have our hands. As security and civil society have fallen away, so violence and lawlessness have risen on both sides. It's hardly an ideal environment for any exercise in democracy. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Donetsk.